Hey guys, what's up? All right, today is January 14th, 2019, and we have another BOW daily recap that is absolutely phenomenal. Today, we talk about how we spotted MBOT as a long and 408 buy long signals off the first but ounce strategy. We go into technical analysis on lines, how to draw the lines, how to find resistance, and how to find support. BOW also does a special PED live trading session. It was awesome. All right, guys, let's get into it. All right, guys, today is Monday, January 14th, 2019. And MBOT, M-B-O-T, is running like crazy, crazy. Um, did we know it's going to hit eight bucks? Hell no. <laughs> but we knew it was a very low float, that it was the only small cap runner around and it was the hot chick of the day. So let's figure out, let's go through the steps that I always go through when I'm researching. So the first thing I do is I look at my scanner in the morning. Better yet, I'm looking at, I wake up later than most people now. I wake up at 4 a.m. California time. And by the time I brush my teeth, go to the bathroom, you know, do what I need to do. I don't, I don't come in until like 4.40. Lay around, check the news in my bed, you know, just that kind of stuff. And then, so I get on the, I go to the MIC and sure enough, uh, everyone's posting about MBOT. Cause what's great about these, about MIC is, dude, there's people around the world. So, holy crap, it's tanking. Where are my buy orders? My buy orders will be around here, guys. 670, 680, why not, right? Let's put a fancy order down. And if it just hits that, it should jump right back up. Uh, but anyway, so I want to wake up. There are people all over the world, dude. There are people on the East Coast already up way before me. Alex gets up at, geez, man, 6 o'clock his time, which is 3 a.m. my time. That's when I just come back <laughs> from going out with my buddies, right? Um, a lot of the times. But um, so it's great. I use the chat room, guys. Use the chat room as a scanner. I mean – if the stock is in play, people will talk about it. But sometimes, um, you know, I remember what I said, guys. Today's hot chick becomes tomorrow's low-hanging fruit. So I like to trade what I call the low-hanging fruit, which is not the necessarily the hot chick of the day, but the, the easier stuff. So we'll get into that, such as, uh, just, such as uh, FTK. This was the easier play. But we'll talk about that. So let's talk about the MBOT first. So once again, I'm doing the same thing I'm, I'm always doing, guys. This, this, it's basically, I, I compare it to like a routine of an athlete, like a golf player. You know, you, you know, you get up into your stance and you do the same routine over and over. And then what, when you screw up is when your routine gets changed. So if you're having a da bad day, if some personal stuff comes up, fighting with your girlfriend, you have a troll, what, whatever the, the reason may be. Just when you're not feeling it, you have to be very, very careful that your emotions don't get the best of you. Because once you break your routine, it just all goes out the window, right? So I try to keep to form, I call it routine, as best as I can every day. So you do the same thing every day. So training starts before you even get to your office. Trading starts the moment you open your eyes in the morning. The same routine, such as waking up at the same exact time. So I've trained my body. My body doesn't look like it's been trained, but it's been trained for trading. It has not been trained for athletics. <laughs> it's been trained for, for trading and for alcohol consumption, right? But um, so I, I've been trained for like 20 years, my body. <laughs> um, so I, dude, I wake up before the alarm clock wakes up. I'm not joking. A lot of times I wake up before the alarm clock wakes up because um, there's a biological, there's a, there's a clock inside your body. There, there's a word for, I forget, man. Um, your uh, Cardassian clock, card, it's, it's card, it's card, shit, man. What's that word, guys? Cardassian clock? Let me see. The best friend is... The Google Cartesian. I just type in what it sounds like and it'll come up. Here, Cartesian clock. 
or do you here this thing here so you can look, read it so basically it's your body it, that's why you get jet lag guys you get jet lag because your body's used to it at a certain time and so it, it's just your inner clock gets all screwed up so car, yeah carcadian clock yeah uh, is your rhythm yep so and my brain's still working a little bit but uh but that's what i'm saying man trading trading is even before you even click a button man it's 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 training your body your mind your spirit to to do this because waking up early is tough man waking up every day is tough having and so if you have the same routine it makes it very easy much easier not very easy that's the wrong word i was like much easier to do I mean, I'm, 20 years, I train my body, wake up at this time, and it's just like, dude, I, I'm a zombie, but I still wake up. The days, is, so it's hard for me on the weekends, because weekends, I, I can't even, like, wake up um, late. I'm waking up, I'm just checking my, my quotes, I'm just reading the news, whatever it is. So, but you know what, man, I, as an athlete, I call this, <laughs> I call this a, you know, we are athletes of day training, so you have to get your body into this, you know, your mind, your spirit, so... Um, have a routine guys. I'm telling you the routine helps me even a stupid routine like this. Do I go to the bathroom? My bowel movements, not B A O, but bowel B O W E L. My bowel movements are, are fucking synced, man. I can, I can like go to the, I go to the bathroom at the same exact time, hour every day in the morning. <laughs> My bowel movement. Exactly. You know why? Cause I'm like, dude, I, I, this is a this is a pro tip for you, man. You don't want to fucking take a dump or pee in the middle of a trade. So you want you want to have that system in. So now I I I before the before ten thirty, dude. I don't. I sit in my chair. I, I I make sure all my insides are clean. So I do all that stuff. So I have a rip. That's why it takes me like forty minutes to get to my office, right? Because I'm like in the bathroom checking the news. So during the bathroom time, I'm checking what stocks are up. I'm doing my research. So you know, it all it's it's my routine. You make your own routine the way you do, right? So so you basically so so the the kids out there that are starting this have a routine, guys. It makes it easier. It's just like it's just like it's just like working out, right? You have a routine, and so and. And so my routine, I'm going I'm to talk about, I wake up, you know, I go to the bathroom, I do all that stuff, I eat, I drink. I actually don't eat because I'm scared to go to the bathroom, so I don't really eat until I'm done trading, uh, which should be around the zombie hour at the least, but right now I'm doing the day recap. So I, you know, I have a bottle of water ready for me, but I, I am a just, I'm just like a machine, dude. I, I'm just here to trade because um, the most important hour for me is the, the opening hour. When the market opens at 9.30 to 10.30, I am focused, dude. Turn off my phone. I, everyone, if the, the house is burning, <laughs> knock on wood, it doesn't. But uh, <laughs> I'm like, I'm there, dude. I, I don't, I'm like, fuck, everything else can wait. Because, uh, uh, so that's your routine. So it, it, you, you make your own routine. And my routine is I have to do, so, so Woody today, he, so let me introduce Woody. Woody, Woody is, um, has a tab next to his name. He's a tab manager. A training accountability manager and so I so I, he's working with the bear to figure out what's the best program for you guys to learn so he's gonna come up with some great stuff I don't want to steal his thunder but when he's ready he's gonna announce it and you know, it'd be awesome man so you guys will have support not from just me not from just the mentors the moderators from other people man so we can have some sort of matching program where hey man you put in your name in a database and then maybe we'll match you up like tinder but on the on the day trading level right um so that's the routine man so we i kick off at stuff with alex out and wakes up earlier so maybe having a tab that's in a different time zone is helpful i mean who knows man just gotta try it right so having a, a east coast west coast is help because the guy on the east coast wakes up early and can help do the research and the guy on the West Coast uh, stays up later until maybe he can do stuff at night. So you help each other, and then you become friends. You know that that that's just my opinion. I've I've everybody that's successful I talk to they they worked with someone. They just they were not in an isolated bubble by itself, right? Okay, but anyways, so here go, here comes my routine. I, I do the same thing, man. I, I open up my Finviz. It could be anything you want, but I like this because all the information's there. I type in Mbot. I'm trying to paint a picture once again. What's going on? First thing I always look for is the float. I'm like, holy crap, that's very little float, dude. Oh, and it has the shorts. A quarter of the float is shorted. 
What does that mean? It means these shorts are going to cover. So one fourth of this float, but 50%. So I'm just taking a rough guesstimate, maybe like 400, 300,000 shares, 400,000 shares. 400,000 shares, whatever, right? It's a lot of shares that needs to be covered. And so the pre-market, it was building, building, and building, as you saw. Uh, hindsight, you know, so let me show you what I did. So before I even get to where I did, I, I have to do, so it comes back to what I'm talking about, Woody. So Woody, Woody has a tab, a bunch of tab guys, and he's like, yeah, man, we didn't trade MBOT because we were not prepared. We did not plan this. And that's exactly right, man. If you do not plan this, all you're doing is reacting. And it's like, you don't understand what's going on. You're just banging keys, just bang keys. And so I, I, that's why it's very difficult for me to trade momentum stocks during the midday. Because I am the kind of guy that needs to do my research. I need to figure out what the lines are. I need to research, paint the picture to understand the filings, to understand what's going on, why the stock is moving up. Because i rather not get involved than i rather lose the opportunity for making money than to lose real money because I'm not prepared. I need to be prepared. Uh, so this is one of my discipline things, which I do well. I mean, there's, I have a lot of bad habits, but the habit I have is now is I, I just don't randomly buy shit unless I've, I look at the chart, I see everything that's around me. So let's see what this news is. Bullshit, that's basically what it is, right? Today's the 14th. Um, so I, I see the news, I see what's going on, see if it's real news, bullshit, but, it doesn't, but the vote is so small, it doesn't matter what the fucking news is. I'm like, dude, it gapped up above. So let's take a look at what I do. So I, I look at the charts. I'm a big technical analysis guy. So I, I like to look at the charts right away and see what's going on. I'm like, holy crap, dude. This thing was at 450. So already gapped way over the, you know, of all the resistances. So, that, so was, the shorts were fucked. Shorts are fucked. Uh, it didn't just gap a little where the shorts could hammer it back down. It just, dude, it gapped a lot it gapped over all of the major resistances that to me was the key there was a huge resistance here you see the spike here here the last time it went up it hit three something 380 and then went down so that would be the first resistance i need to break and it already gapped over that it was like over four bucks it stayed over four bucks so i was like holy shit dude this thing could have a potential to run i I, I'm not the kind of guy that's going to pump this thing and say $8 right away. I'm like, dude, there's a lot of lines between $4 and $8. So then that's when I start looking at the filings to figure out like, is this dirty? Is this dirty? 